So if you guys remember, um, there was a lot of uh, hoopla about you know fr the whole Jason industry, uh, Jason whatever, by Sean S. Cunningham or was it Victor? Mill I can't remember. It was one of those two. Basically, we were gonna get me uh, getting more Jason stuff, and it started kind of with multiverses. And there was supposed to be Brian Fuller's um, whole series about um, Crystal Lake, right? Like, Crystal Lake was the big thing, but then it stopped dead in the water when Brian Fuller left the project. Well, turns out that while that project did, like, stall for a bit after Brian Fuller, it has been confirmed they are back on project with a new showrunner. So who is the new showrunner? The new showrunner is... Uh, Brad Caleb Kane. I hope I'm saying that. I hope that's the right name. Because um, I can't remember if it was Caleb Brad Kane or Brad Caleb Kane. I can't remember the pronunciation. But basically that guy. It's that guy. So Kane's work that sounds like a Stephen King novel which is funny because uh, Kane was in charge. He was the showrunner for the first season of It Welcome to Dairy, which we have not it hasn't come out yet. There has been like a little teaser for it and I'm surprised we haven't gotten a full trailer. Knowing my luck, I will post this video and it'll be like, hey, the trailer for It Welcome to Dairy is out. Like, you just missed it, you dumb fuck. And, yeah. So for all I know, as of this recording, I'll, I'll finish it and post this video and then someone will be like, hey, they just posted the trailer for, uh, for It Welcome to Dairy. Yeah. So what do I so what do I think of this? Well, considering I have like a, again, as of this recording, um it Welcome to Dairy has not, you know, premiered yet or we haven't even seen a full trailer again as of this recording. Um I can't really give a full thought. I do like that it, like they pick someone who um I guess Warner Brothers clearly trusted with one of their their best one of their best horror IP to take over to do another horror IP. Um, I think that's a smart idea. I think that's a I think that's a solid move. Again, I haven't seen other of Kane's projects. Again, I'm saying that Kane's projects or Kane's work that sounds like a Stephen King novel waiting to happen, right? Anyway, I digress. So I really cannot say that body of, for Kane's body of work that the you know I can't say if it's a good idea or a bad idea. I will say that we did get some a peek behind the curtains and find out um, why, and this is we got some information about the number of episodes and the budget, which probably explains the budget. Especially was like no, like the guys over at Peacock were like, no, we're doing this show. We're not canceling it. Not after how much money we just sank into it. And basically, the first season will be eight episodes long. And um, each episode, apparently the budget for each episode ballooned into well over $10 million a apiece. $10 million a apiece, think on that. How big, uh, like, I hope that budget went to something good. I hope those $10 million a apiece, like, over $10 million, okay, it wasn't over a $10 million a apiece for each episode, but the budget for the whole season um, did say, like, several episodes, the budget for each episode did balloon, some of them did go for over $10 million. But still... That better be money well spent. I'm just all that. That's all I'm asking is it's it has to be like money well spent. Am I right? Yeah. We also do know that yes, Jason and Pamela, because this is obviously an origin story, will be in the show. It isn't like a lot of people were theorizing at the beginning where it was just going to focus more on Pamela. The Crystal Lake TV show um, is going to focus on also Jason, and I've heard. That it's also going to talk about like what it, like more about Crystal Lake's origin as well. Now there has been a lot of stuff, whether it be comics or novels or outside media, that have talked about like uh, Crystal Lake. Maybe it ha it's like a pet cemetery thing where where stuff can be brought back and it's not brought back. You know, sometimes dead is better, kind of thing. Um, which I think is cool. I kind of like. I always like the uh, the whole or the whole secret origin that um, that was brought up in. Uh, you know, Jason Goes to Hell, horrible movie, but I always liked the idea that Pamela used the Necronomicon to resurrect Jason and how he's like some kind of deadite. And I was like, that's a cool one. I'll, t I'll just accept that. But obviously, I don't think they can do the whole deadite origin thing. So I guess we'll have to get like weird um, swamp magic or something of that nature. Um, 
So I do. Uh, so yes, I have been. I will admit that, like, I have been kind of like a negative, uh, uh, kind of negative, on the whole thing of of this show. Probably because, like, again, it was the project was dead in the water, and the and the J and the Friday the Thirteenth IP on a whole. The whole rights thing has just been a mess, and we were just and like any kind of Jason content was wor was going to be worth it. Um, or hopefully worth it, and I was kind of worried that maybe they're just, it's just going to peter out, like, that's the fear I had, that it was just all going to peter out, and not really be of anything of, ma of like, major consequence, that was my genuine fear, um, but hearing that, like, they got into they uh, and now again I was worried that the, the the Crystal Lake show because it was so long ago it was like a few months ago that they said oh yeah Brian Fuller left and I was like well if Fuller's not a part of this that, that like due to creative differences that's and then I we didn't hear anything for it so I assumed that they just went we're gonna trash it but no this does give me hope and again they picked a guy who was given another horror IP origin story so I find that funny that like. Brad Caleb Kane worked on something almost identical to this, where it's an origin story for a horror IP character, for a horror character, um, and now he's doing it again with another, like, <laughs> he's doing it again with, like, another character. So I do, maybe that was the idea, maybe they saw, like, again, as of this recording, Welcome to Derry isn't out yet, so we can only speculate. But that is kind of a, maybe it's a good sign for not just, you know, the Crystal Lake TV show, but also perhaps, like, um, maybe it's a good idea, it's a good thing for um, It Welcome to Dairy, because maybe the people over at Universal and Peacock saw, you know, probably got, like, some, some obviously, you know, movie studios talk. So maybe they saw something, or like executives saw something, like through meetings or some kind of like script um, scripting, um, and they saw something with it, it. Welcome to Dairy that made them go, "That guy, I want you know, we want that guy to helm uh, Crystal Lake now. Uh, sat, now that we've lost Fuller, so that could be the case. I would believe it. Like I would believe that like maybe that was the idea all along was to you know, wait it like, and again. They could have easily just canceled the show. So it does give me hope that maybe there is hope for this project. Um, that there could be, like, legitimate, like, cause to be like, Hey, maybe I can care about Jason Voorhees again. It was, it's been so long, and all we've really had since this whole, like, rebranding of Jason was him showing up in multiverses. So, really hasn't been much, sadly. There really hasn't been anything too spectacular in terms of, like, Hey what else you got, right? Like, what else have you got for the character? But now it really does seem like there's going to be steam picking up for Jason and Friday the 13th on a whole. Maybe this means, like, if Crystal Lake does well, we could get, like, a new movie. Um, possibilities are there. So, yeah. I'm, I'm still, like, I got some caution... But like I'm, I'm, I'm like. There's a part of me that's like, well, maybe we could. Maybe there's some optimism to be had here. That's what. That's my thinking. Is that like there's some like legit optimism we can have now that like the show, like it actually shows that Peacock gives a shit. Probably because of all the money they put into the that show. So that helps. It's not like another movie company that just deletes movies that are fully finished for a tax write-off. I don't think I need to say more, do I? Anyway. So yeah, we'll just have uh, like now that we have someone who worked on a horror pre horror franchise prequel, we're gonna do this again. He's gonna do this again. So who knows how this will turn out? I'm uh, like I think it'll depend on how I feel about um, Kane working on this show after uh, Welcome to Dairy comes out. So I will uh, like I'll reverse judgment as like maybe it's a good thing, maybe it's a bad thing. I don't know. Anyway, so you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of Crystal Lake getting back on track? Are you guys excited for uh, Brad Caleb Kane taking over? Are you guys interested in, it? like, are you hoping It Welcome to Dairy is good? And um, what are you hoping to see with this first season of, of Crystal Lake? Just comment below, let me know. Other than that, um, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. Uh, one more thing. I think, I like, I know people have been asking if I'm going to talk about Kong in, uh, Survival Instincts, the new... 
upcoming uh, MonsterVerse video game. I'm gonna save my. Fo I'm gonna wait and give my full thoughts once we get a like full trailer, rather than just do like multiple videos on every little leak, uh, uh, or not leak, but like every little tidbit of information. I think a f they said a full trailer is coming out either Tuesday or Wednesday, so I'm gonna hold judgment until. Um, we get a like a full trailer. That's where I'm kind of at. So yeah. Um, but once we get like a full trailer for Kong Survival Instincts, then I will be doing like a full ass uh, trailer for uh, like trailer thoughts on and every and give my full thoughts on that game. I will say though, you can only go up, right? You can only after how bad uh, Kong uh, that horrible King Kong game from last year came out. Like you can only go up, right? There's nowhere else to go but up. But anyway, so once again, you guys tell me in the comments below what do you guys think of this news for uh, Crystal Lake. Other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.